Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's the Junkie, and I'm back with my weekly LCS haul, number 18. Um, pretty good stack of books today. Uh, some books I pulled off the wall. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> this is my haul for 2000, or, uh, December 27th. Yeah, 27th. Uh, it's the last haul, weekly haul of the year. Next year starts a whole new uh, process. So let's go ahead and get into it and show you what I got this week. Up first are my indie books. Um, I missed this book last week, and it was on the shelf at my shop. So I picked it up. Realm number four, beautiful cover. I love that cover. Um, really good story. Yeah, so really looking forward to reading that. And then, we, of course, we got Redneck number eight, another good story. Um, this is obviously on my pull list. Um, yeah. And then another one of my, probably my favorite indie title is Outcast number 32. Um, didn't even notice, but they raised the price to $3.99. Um, it used to be $2.99, and this is part one of a new <clears throat> storyline invasion. So looking forward to reading that and see where this goes. Up next is, um, I do not collect this title, so this is a book I pulled off the wall. But it's Thanos number 14. Um, as you know, in issue number 13, there were two first appearances. So I figured I'd pick up number 14 since this will be their second appearance. And here you have Ghost Rider uh, on, on the cover. So he's one of the new, uh, new characters. And I picked up the Phoenix variant. Um, got it for cover price. Beautiful cover. Um... It looks like it's got King Thanos on the cover, which was another introduction of another character in the book. Okay, now for the True Believers, I picked up The Death of Phoenix, number one. And for a dollar, this book is pretty damn thick, guys. So if you see it in your shop, I suggest picking it up. You know, it's all leading up to the next book I'm getting ready to show, which is Phoenix Resurrection. Um, I picked up this cover here. This is the variant. Um, love that cover. They had like two or three other ones. The other ones were okay. If they're there next week, I might pick them up. But I like this one, and I picked up the lenticular cover. Um, yeah, looking forward to reading this. The Legacy, The Return of Jean Grey. Um, yeah, looking forward to reading this, guys. If you're at your shop or you watch this video before you go to the shop, pick that up. Um, up next is X-Men Blue. We got the X-Men Blue Team versus uh, what, Generation X, uh, the original Generation X from back in the 90s. And then we got Moon Knight 190. Uh, this has been a pretty good so far. This is like the second or third issue in this. Um, yeah, so looking forward to reading that. And then another book that I'm really stoked to read is Punisher, The Platoon, <clears throat> um, number four. Uh, yeah, this story has been pretty good so far, guys. Any of you Punisher fans should definitely start picking that up. Then Amazing Spider-Man 793. Uh, another awesome Alex Ross cover. Uh, looks like Spidey's being taken over by the symbiote. Um, okay, now for my DC books. That was all my Marvel books. Now on to DC. This came out today. Looking forward to reading this. Is Dark Knight's Hawkman Found. Um, I'm not sure, but I believe it may just be a one-shot. I'm not 100%, so don't quote me on that, but I picked that up. Love that cover. Then I picked up Demon Hella's Earth. Uh, this is another really good story, guys, if you're not on board yet. And, uh, yeah, it's on issue number two, so it probably shouldn't be hard to find issue number one and get caught up. And another good book today that came out, uh, Doomsday Clock, number two. There were a few different covers. I like this one. I didn't know what my budget was going to be. I didn't want to spend over $100 this week. Um... So, if they're there next week, I might pick up. There was another one, another cover that I wanted to snag up. But, uh, if it's there next week, I'll definitely pick it up. Then we got Nightwing, The New Order, number 5 of 6. Suicide Squad, number 32. Uh, Action Comics, 994. We're getting really close, guys, to issue 1000. And I wonder what they have planned. Up next... Batman Beyond 15. I don't see this in very many people's pool. I don't know how many people are getting it, but it's it's a pretty good story. Um, I'm going to still pick it up until either it gets canceled or whatever, but yeah, it's pretty good. Not my favorite, but it's good. 
Detective Comics 971. Here we're getting close to 1,000 too, guys. Uh, love this cover, man. This cover art is amazing. I don't even know who does it. Something March. I don't know. But a beautiful cover, guys. Up next is Flash number 37. Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, number 35. Another good story, guys, is Hellblazer, number 17. And my last book for DC, and my last book of my weekly haul for 2017 is Batman, the Creature of the Night, um, issue number 2. Um, pretty good story. I like number 1. I'm looking forward to reading this. But yeah, guys, that is it for my weekly uh, pull list. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, it's my last uh, haul of 2017, and this is probably my favorite cover. Love that cover. Um, but yeah, guys, looking forward to all all my favorite weekly haul guys, the Chinist, uh, the Villain, Stuff Burrito. Looking forward to those guys' hauls. And uh, anyways, guys, it's the Junkie. This is my last LCS haul for the year. Looking forward to 2018. I should have another What's in the Short Box, Ghost Rider Edition coming up, my 2018 want list. Um, I should have that video up probably maybe this weekend. Um, definitely before the new year starts or right after. But anyways, guys, it's the Junkie. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, thumbs up, thumbs down, like, um, subscribe, subscribe, whatever you're, uh, you're, you're uh, into. And uh, it's the Junkie, and I'm out.